It was a sunny spring day in Bucharest, Romania. Nicoleta was on her first day of pre-maternity leave. Expected to go into labor in three weeks and a half, what happened that day was very surprising. By afternoon, she was at the Bucur Hospital. On that day, April 12, 2000, at 18.30, a perfectly healthy baby was born without complications, although only eight months in. I'm Radu Dragomi Rescue, and this is the story of my life. I had a happy childhood. My parents recalled that I was more calm than most babies and I rarely ever threw a tantrum. When I was born, my mom was working for a company by the name of Sigma and my dad Livio was working on introducing new medicinal technology in the country as well as working on research and statistics. They were busy so they hired someone to take care of me and to cook. Her name is Anna and she took great care of me as a child. She always took me to the park, was nice to me, and spoiled me. At age 3, I first went to kindergarten. I recall that on the first day my parents brought me there, I was crying and hanging on to my dad and begging my parents to take me home. My requests were not listened to. However, after the first day, I actually started to like it there. I made friends quickly. My two best friends were Tudor and Philip, two boys in my class. The following year we started taking karate lessons. It was very fun and rewarding. We went on camps where fun was mixed with practices and many competitions which tested our skill. Doing karate greatly increased my dis discipline and athletic ability. I did karate for about 6 years after which I unfortunately quit after being angry for losing a tournament. Radu was a happy, smart and joyful little child always bringing us a smile, no matter how difficult the day had been so far. My mom got a new job at PNG when I was about 9 and the following year we moved from our old place. Having gone into 5th grade and having quit karate, a new part of my life began. I started making new friends in my new class and hanging out with them. Some of the new friends I made were Mikna, Matei, Philip, Dani and Robert. I still kept in contact with my old friends, Tudor and Philip, however not as much. After quitting karate, I started playing tennis. I had wanted to play soccer, but my parents didn't allow me to due to the fact that not many soccer clubs in Romania are organized and performing. I really enjoyed playing tennis and practicing. I made several friendships through tennis, which I look back upon happily. However, I was first, at first reluctant to play in tennis tournaments due to my bad memory of the karate competition that led me to quit. My coaches took a while to convince me to try competing, but once I did, I was really into it. Even though I didn't win all my matches, I had a lot of fun in competitions and met many people through them. However, after a few years, I quit tennis too because I had to focus on school because it's tough in Romania. After tennis, I only briefly played basketball during one summer while I was in the 6th grade. I didn't play any other sports because I had grown disinterested and was more interested in my social life. When I was in 7th grade, news got to me that were frightening. My mom, working at PNG, got an offer to move to Cincinnati in order to work downtown in order to be at the main building of the corporation. I, thinking only about how I'm gonna lose friends in Romania and being afraid that I won't integrate in the States, urged her to say no. However, she knew that this was a one-time opportunity for me to have a better life and receive a better education, so she and my dad decided we would go. When he learned that we needed to move to the US, Radu was very sad. He was supposed to get away from his friends, from everything he knew and enjoyed. But after we got here, he was able soon to make friends and he started enjoying school and life in the US. At first in Cincinnati, I was very mad at my parents that they made this decision. They tried to help me integrate and get used to life here, but I was unwilling to cooperate. However, after some time, I started to really like it here, the people being very kind and education being very good. I also made a lot of friends and people who are dear to me. That's when I realized how much of a good thing and a chance this was for me and I decided to make the most of it. This changed my life. I was determined to use my potential fully and decided to focus on school and did very well and I also picked up on sports. I started playing soccer, which I had always wanted to, and which was encouraged now that I could play for a good program. I also started playing basketball again, which I have a lot of fun playing. I also briefly played baseball, which was entirely new to me, it being not very popular in Europe, 
and I learned it quickly. Baseball is a very interesting and strategic sport and I enjoyed the moments of suspension. I am very grateful for what my life came to be and for having been woken up by this experience, though I regret some of my past mistakes which could have made me even better had I not done them. Moreover, I will continue doing the best I can in school and sports in order to gain knowledge and experience. Ideally, I want to attend an Ivy League college and I have a lot of time to decide what I would like my profession to be, though I have some favorites in mind such as entrepreneur or trader. My life has been a journey with many experiences in different environments, having moved from Europe to the United States. I am looking forward to growing as a person and making the best of all my opportunities in order to assure the bright, happy future that I wish to have.